I left Antelope Island Saturday morning, heading west toward Nevada. I saw the Bonneville Salt Flats, and that was a pretty cool sight to see. The sign when I turned on this highway in Nevada said 130 miles before gas. As I got close to Great Basin National Park, I found this uh, BLM campground, Sacramento Pass. After a 10 mile drive that took me up to 9,900 feet, I found my camp spot at Wheeler Peak Campground for the next two nights. While I was in Great Basin National Park, I hiked on a glacier. Saw bristlecone pine trees over 3,000 years old. And hiked to the top of Wheeler Peak, just over 13,000 feet. I left Great Basin Tuesday morning, heading to the middle of Nevada and the desert, and I was traveling through Ely, Nevada, and ended up on the loneliest road in America. And right in the middle of the desert is a place called Spencer's Hot Springs. There are two hot springs there. And it's free camping, so that's where I set up to camp for the night. Sunset in the desert in a hot spring. That's pretty cool. I left Spencer Hot Spring, headed west toward California, but not before I said goodbye to the wild burrows. I saw flat plains, went through mountains, and even drove across sand flats. Finally got my first glimpse of Lake Tahoe. Went on a hike to see a waterfall and a lake, and the drive getting there was probably just as exciting as the hike. My wife told me this story that she used to go to Jack in the Box in Texas and order tiny tacos. When she moved to Alabama, she went to Jack's and ordered tacos and they said, we don't serve tacos. So it's a different 
thing and she hasn't had Jack in the Box in years. Well, I found Jack in the Box here in uh, South Tahoe. So I'm going to have some tiny tacos for my wife. That's actually a pretty good taco. I've already have one. This is number two. And I've got two more to go. So this is pretty good. I'm multitasking again this afternoon. I'm in Lake Tahoe uploading videos. I'm about a week behind. I don't know if you can see through there, but I'm in a TJ Maxx parking lot. I got a 12 pack hamburgers for under 10 bucks at Walmart. So I'm going to fry up some hamburgers. I have eight patties so I can have eight hamburgers and then four left over I can make hamburger steak and eat with some beans or whatever I've got in the cabinet so this is what I'm doing this afternoon after I just finished the hike up the mountain to lock so I'm going to test this first one out to see if it's any good Let's go with a little cheese. A little mayonnaise. Some ketchup. Yep, that is really good. So that's how you eat cheap on the road, do your own cooking. Burgers are done, and I figured out how to get them all in the bowl. Now I've just got to clean my mess up, and I should be good for food for the next three or four days. <laughs> 